One of the things that's unknown about Wake Forest is one of the uh, leading families here in Wake Forest has done so much to help the community, but they actually, they own a couple of banks, very big national banks. And one of the ways they got started was out of this building right here. And this building right here has the distinction of where they got their money from and really helped them get going was it was the first mail order sex enhancement products. They came out of the pharmacist that was right here in Wake Forest and that was when the family really started doing very well in that business and they later took their money and invest, reinvested it throughout Wake Forest and has really been a big contributor to Wake Forest and its progress over the years. Right now we're outside Magnolia Tr Trading Company and one of the things I did want to show you is about nine years ago, 400 people in the 400 families in the community, we wanted to beautify the downtown, make it look better. And you can look at our brick walkways down here. Truth is, none of them were brick. This was actually uh, concrete that we went back in and stained. And we had, like I said, 400 families showed up one Saturday. We closed the street and we actually did this. And it's held up extremely well over the last nine years. And that's part of the thing where the community came together. And we usually, we used to, we'd actually have kids write their name on the bricks so that they could come down here and they could show their grandparents or their friends which was their brick here in downtown Wake Forest. This is Magnolia Trading Company and you can see the different items they have. And as you look at it, you will just see when you're down here, we have next door the uh, Old English Tea Room, which people like to go and have their lunch, and then after they've had lunch, they come over and go shopping. Folks, if you come in, decide you're coming to Wake Forest, and you're coming to North Carolina via Raleigh-Durham International Airport, as you come out of the plains and go th into the terminal, the first thing you see about places you should visit in North Carolina is Shorty's Hot Dogs, and they've been here since 1916. There's a lot of people that come here and tell you the best thing about the Shorty's Hot Dogs is the chili, but it's one of the few places that you can actually still get the red hot dog. But this is a spot, and most days, from about 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock, there's a line out the door just waiting in to get, waiting to get a hot dog from Shorty's. But we're proud of this. It's been around since 1916 when Wake Forest University moved up to Winston-Salem. If you go to Wake Forest University now and you go to the Student Union, there's still a Shorty's up there to remember the years they were here in Wake Forest. <laughs>